Well, hi, gang. It's me, Ranger Manny, at beautiful Monocacy National Battlefield right outside Frederick, Maryland. It's a beautiful, unseasonably pleasant January day, and this is where the battle that saved Washington was fought on July 9th, 1864. Now, this is a battle where the Union forces were outnumbered three to one, and that included in their artillery numbers. Uh, the Yankees had uh, eight guns here, the Confederates had over 30. One of those Union guns, which was used to really good effect, was a 24-pounder. Now, this is a 12-pounder. We're talking 24-pounder. It was having a devastating effect on Confederate troops, but it was put out of action by a very simple mistake. Now, keep in mind that most of Union General Lew Wallace's forces here were inexperienced rookies, okay? And some of those inexperienced men were pressed into uh, serving the guns, uh, those that 24-pounder gun. So this was all on-the-job training for them, right? Well, here's the deal. The projectile, this cannonball, goes down the barrel powder bag first because when it gets to the end of the breech, a long wire, I made a video on this, a long wire is jammed down into the bag exposing the powder and that will make it go off when a primer is stuck in here. But the point is it has to go in the barrel like this. Well, one of these inexperienced soldiers in the heat of battle in the confusion of battle, put it in backwards. Put it in cannonball first, thus preventing it from firing. And they couldn't get it out. So that very effective gun, that 24 pounder, unfortunately for the Union forces, is out of action for the rest of the battle. But again, before we go calling this poor guy a nitwit, let's think about all of the times that we made mistakes under pressure at a job that we weren't fully trained to do.